I'm just getting done watering right now. Isn't that a beautiful, beautiful tree-like rhododendron? Look at how huge that is in those red buds. There's going to be just beautiful red flowers come springtime. That sucker's probably, I don't know, nine feet, ten feet there at the top. That's a Taurus. We took a ton of cuttings. Love these big tree-like rhododendrons with these big beautiful leaves. And if you have them in the right area, you can see they grow absolutely gorgeous. It's a beautiful morning to take rhododendron cuttings. Got the frame all set up the other day, got everything cleaned out, new fresh bark put in it. Went out and watered all the rhododendrons last evening, the ones that I'm gonna take cuttings from. We're gonna do lots of reds today. So come along with me and we'll see what happens. rhododendrons and we're gonna get these guys whittled down to get placed in our propagation frame out there I don't know what it is about red rhododendrons the reds those are the ones that everybody wants I like them too so we're gonna get these reds whittled down to cutting material so we can get them out the frame let's do it Six hours later with a few breaks in between I got the frame all just about filled up got a little room left here over on the end I'll hit that tomorrow and we'll do some nice yellows and oranges and varieties like that but let's take a look at what we got so we have Taurus that is an early blooming red beautiful rhododendron it's a shame it blooms so early because most people aren't out at the garden centers yet and they completely miss this one, but it's a beautiful red blooming roadie with huge leaves and the plant gets very large. Love that one. What do we have here? Blitz. Now that is a low growing red that people do tend to see because it blooms a little later than Taurus. And that one stays small. It's got smaller leaves, but it's got beautiful red bell shaped uh, flowers that hang from it in the mid spring. And then we've got some Vulcan. Now that's a late blooming red. And that is about the most true red colored rhododendron that you could possibly find that I've found yet. But it's called Vulcan and it blooms sometime in uh, end of May, beginning of June, just depending on the season. Beautiful, beautiful rhododendron. And then we've got a Peter Folk. And that one is also an early blooming rhododendron. Most people miss this one. That blooms, I think a little earlier than the Taurus does actually but a uh, little bit different growth habit. It's upright, beautiful roadie. Then we've got Elizabeth. Elizabeth, now that is a nice variety. That one right there is 
it actually blooms twice a year. It blooms in the spring and it also blooms in the fall, probably early fall, I would say. And really neat variety just for that aspect. It's covered in red flowers in the spring and then about half as many in the fall. Stay small, low growing, three foot, four foot, something like that. Eruption, not quite a red, but it's got red edges to it with a white center. And a lot of people like this one for that reason. Turns into a bigger shrub, not huge, probably a medium size, but uh, mid-season bloomer, beautiful rhododendron. Right here we've got Thomsonii, and that is an actual species rhododendron. Grows really tall, upright, tree-like eventually, and it's got beautiful red blooms. Another early rhododendron, a lot of the species bloom earlier, and so a lot of people miss those. But uh, if you're ever in the Pacific Northwest and you're near Federal Way, you got to get up to the species, or actually the rhododendron species botanical gardens and check those out. Now we're getting out of the reds. Actually, I did take another red here, Marquitas Prize, and that's my wife's favorite. It's a beautiful red. It blooms mid to later season, uh, upright growing. And we've got Lady de Rothschild. That one is a nice one. Now I haven't seen this one bloom on my property yet. I got this one from my friends at Rainier Rhododendrons and I finally was able to take some cuttings this year, but that is also a really nice variety. It's not a red, but it's a, it's just a stately plant. Josephine, another nice one. My wife wanted me to get a few cuttings this year. It didn't have as nice a material for cuttings and I'm not one to take cuttings just to take cuttings. I want to make sure that it's good cutting material. And that was about all I could get. Four little cuttings. The rest of them were real short, stocky, stout, flower bud type cuttings. So I left the rest of them. Senator Jackson, if you guys have been following me for a while, you've seen that I have struggled and struggled trying to propagate Senator Jackson and I'm gonna do it again this year. We're gonna see if we can get this to happen. I've never gotten one of these to take. I don't know why, it must be in the genetics, but uh, if we can't get this to work this year, I'm definitely gonna be trying some more air layering with that one beautiful, beautiful white. It starts out pink and opens to a beautiful pure white. And I was thinking we'd save the rest of this frame for some yellows and oranges and different colors like that. So we'll come back out here tomorrow and fill the rest of this up. All right, so we're actually two days later and I thought I'd show you, I finished the frame and I'm not 100% sure where we left off. I think I showed you the Marquitas Prize, all this row right here. That's my wife's favorite, beautiful red and the Senator Jackson that I just haven't been able to propagate for some reason over all the years I've tried. But I'm gonna try again this year, I never give up. But I think this is where I left off. Now this one right here, guys, Loderi King George, I couldn't help myself. I had a ton of beautiful cuttings just hanging from these plants. And this is one of the most stately, gorgeous rhododendrons you've ever seen in your life. You gotta get one. If you if you can grow Loderi King George in your area, and if you can grow rhododendrons, you can grow this one. You gotta get one of these guys. It is beautiful. Apricot Fantasy, a favorite of so many people. It's just a peachy, well, it's not, it's kind of orange. I guess it's close to orange. Not too many orangey rhododendrons, but that's one of them. Half Dan Lem, another beautiful red. I walked past it while I was looking for more varieties to stuff in here, and I thought, shoot, I forgot that red. Grabbed a few cuttings, and there we go. Beautiful red rhododendron. Gets huge over time. And then we've got Lem's Monarch, another beautiful one, another one of my very favorites. If you guys ever have a chance to get Lem's Monarch, you've got to get this rhododendron. It's a beautiful stately plant. And then the grand finale, Fire Rim. That is one that people love. It's also an orangey kind of rhododendron, but absolutely beautiful. So there you go, guys. We've got the entire frame full of rhododendron cuttings and this is my smaller frame I've got another one probably almost three times or about three times the size of this one it's wider and twice as long and uh, I just didn't you know didn't get the chance to set that up this year just with my finger and the surgery and all that going on but thanks to my wife and kids they helped me get all this set up this year and we've got a ton of beautiful beautiful rhododendron cuttings
So aren't those absolutely beautiful plants? I mean, I just love rhododendrons. I when I finally started figuring out rhododendrons, I was so excited because I knew I was going to turn this place into a stately garden. I mean, something worthy of a king or a queen coming to visit eventually. It takes a little bit of time, but I knew it was going to happen. I've been rooting cuttings of plants since before I was doing rhododendrons, but when I finally figured out rhododendrons, I knew I was onto something and I knew I could really take this place somewhere. So I think that about does it for now. We've got our cutting stuck. This isn't going to be one of those videos where you see the beginning and ending because we'd have to wait a whole year before these guys are fully rooted and ready to show you. However, if you guys want to see from beginning to ending everything I do here and get all the details, all the juicy details, go visit the website. There's a members area. I've got a package of about six hours worth of videos on there. This shows you everything I do there. So if you like this one, hit the like button. Subscribe if you guys want to follow along and see more fantastic gardening videos. Have a fantastic week, and I'll see you in the next video. Adios.